Good afternoon, fellow hams. W3DDS here, Mike, uh, with an antenna review. I picked this antenna up on Amazon. It's a GRA 7350T. It's made in Taiwan, and I had a lot of success with it, and I thought I might share. There might be some interest in that. And here is the Amazon uh, page for this antenna. See, it's advertised as a broadband telescopic portable ham amateur mobile radio antenna. It's from the Gabil Radio Taiwan store. It's $129.50. And with the antenna, you get a telescopic whip. Uh, it is in a PL259 base. And there is also a 75 slash 80 meter extension that also comes with this antenna. Uh, the antenna slides kind of like many of the other antennas to increase uh, the length of the coils and it works quite well. And here is the packaging uh, that it came in uh, from Amazon. It, it took several weeks for it to arrive uh, here in South Florida from Taiwan. This is the 75 slash 80 meter extension that can be added. And so I live in an HOA and I have some challenges with antennas. I had wires in the palm trees. The neighbors weren't real happy with that. So I figured I would try this antenna out and use my uh, nice new BMW X3M as the counterpoise. And it, I was very pleased with the result. Uh, here you can see there are marks in millimeters. This is a metric antenna, by the way. Uh, the antenna whip is metric as well. The screw, it's a female uh, magnetic, or it's a female whip, and it is a metric 10 by 1.0 um, millimeter thread pattern, M10 by 1.0. Uh, and I would recommend that you order extra whips when you get this. The first whip that I had broke uh, and I was kind of stuck. Uh, and it's again a non-standard whip, so it's difficult to, uh, to just find one quickly and replace it. Uh, without any counterpoise but the mag mount, uh, this was the minimum SWR for 20 meters is what I'm going to demonstrate today. You can see it's 1.3 or so at 14.208 megahertz. This is a sweep across with the trusty Nano VNA across the whole 20 meter band. Uh, as you can see, uh, quite acceptable SWR across the whole band. So next uh, is a video of a QSO that uh, I had. And uh, without delay, let's have a listen. Seven and eight. Go ahead. Central Texas, I thank you so much for helping me this evening. 73. Uh, you put the nine, but uh, so good signal. Thanks. Good luck. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, it's uh, QSP's up and down, but I got the end there, man. Thank you so much. 73. Whiskey 3, Delta Delta Sierra W3 DDS. Whiskey 3, Delta Delta Sierra, 5 8 West Virginia here at Kilo 1800 or. Well, thank you for the 5 8. You're 5 9 into South Florida, Lauderdale by the sea, uh, testing an antenna here, and uh, you've got a beautiful signal coming in here. Uh, thanks for your activation. Hey, very good, very good. Yeah, uh, this evening up here, I'm at 50 watts. I'm using a pack antenna inset half wave. Actually, I got the 40 meter link attached, set up as an inverted Z at 50 watts, over. QSL on the 50 watts. I have an ICOM IC 7300 here and a mobile mount antenna on the top of my car. 
uh, and it's a um, an adjustable type antenna. It's a I can't honestly remember the name of it right now, but I'm making a YouTube video. Will do. I'd be very happy to do that. And uh, by the way, I've ties to West Virginia. Um, I uh, went to dental school in Morgantown, and uh, I worked there as a pharmacist for years. Where are you located in West Virginia? Uh, QSL, yeah, I thought the DDS might be some sort of vanity. Uh, a good deal about West Virginia, Morgantown. I'm actually uh, near Barbersville. Really. I'm sorry, there's some QSB there. Come again. Oh, Barbersville, QSL, QSL. I'm familiar with Barbersville. Is that near Wheeling? Oh, okay, Roger, Roger on Huntington. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah. So, well, listen. Thanks for the activation and good luck and thanks for the signal report. Hey, you bet, you bet. Take care down there now. Thanks about seventy-three. QRZ. So you can see uh, it does a pretty good job. Uh, so West Virginia, where that uh, fellow ham is, is uh, that's probably close to about a thousand miles away. Made a nice trip. Uh, the next slide, this is a uh, reverse beacon network. I put out a CW uh, signal and you can see uh, the performance as far as that goes. It has a very nice reach. It got over into Germany, uh, up into Canada and down into uh, Central America. And these are the reverse beacon network stations that responded back. So I'm going to give this a uh, high marks, this antenna, the GRA 
7350T uh, for performance. Uh, it's very easy to deploy. I use it uh, as my go-to now for POTA activations. And uh, with a lot of success, it works great QRP. And again, uh, I didn't receive any type of compensation for this uh, video, but I, I highly recommend uh, this antenna. Uh, feel free to reach out with any questions and thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. So this is W3 BDS wishing you 73.